It's to the Daily Special with Kimberly Ray Miller! Welcome to the Daily Special. Today is Wednesday, December 19th. Let's go to specials. I have to say I'm a little disappointed. 16-year-old Jamie Lynn Spears announced she was pregnant yesterday. Oh, no. But don't worry, moms. Lynn Spears is publishing a book on parenting. <laughs> sure to be a bestseller. <laughs> and singer Lily Allen is also pregnant. What is in the water, people? No. Sperm, apparently. <laughs> Sperm in the water. Don't drink the water! And apparently the Spice Girls are a huge inspiration, not only to Avril Lavigne, but Destiny's Child is apparently thinking of a comeback together because the Spice Girls were so successful. Oh. Um, do you guys remember the Spice Girls? <laughs> Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> like, really not. Okay. <laughs> You guys commented in and said you wanted us to do a best and worst of 2007 episode, but I don't really think we're qualified for that. What do you guys yeah, think? I don't, I, don't, I don't know, but I think I know someone who might be. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Is this is this Whitney? Everyone, this is Whitney Matheson who writes the amazing blog that we're all sort of obsessed with here at the Daily Special, Pop Candy for USA Today. Yeah! Thank you so much for joining us, Whitney. Oh, thank you for having me. I didn't expect such enthusiasm. We're really perky here. We have lots of coffee all the time. So, Whitney, you write this amazing blog about pop culture and cool stuff to buy and so many topics. Now, how would you describe pop candy for the regular viewer? I do a lot of um, music stuff and film, but maybe more independent film and maybe more indie music and a lot of TV, but like cult TV, things that we love to discuss on pop candy. Which is why we are all sort of stalking you virtually. <laughs> so, but there's a, the real reason we called today was about your top 100 people of the year. So, yesterday was number 61 through 80, and it was a really ver varied list. People like comedian David Wayne and singer songwriter Jenny Owen Youngs. As an expert, how do you pick these best people? I try to look at people who kind of contributed to the culture, like they made a good film or they made a great album. And, and I just examine people who moved me in some way and made some sort of artistic contribution during the year. So we are a, we talk about pop culture a lot and celebrities here, but we're also a fitness and body image show. So, do you have any input on who the best person with the best body image for 2007 might have been? I, I would probably say best ditto of the gossip. <laughs> I don't know if you know who that is. Yes, we love Beth yeah. ditto. Yeah. Yeah. She's hot. So, Whitney, thank you. I know you're short on time, so thank you so much for talking to us today. Can you fill us in at all on who number one might be? Oh my gosh, you want me to tease you? <laughs> Yes, Jesus, Jesus. Well, I mean, I, you can probably guess. I'm totally not going to tell you. I don't know. Like it was, it was so hard coming up with with the number one person. And I, I may still change my mind. I don't know. Thank you so much for speaking with us, Whitney. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Whitney Matheson, everyone. Well, Bubblicious wrote in and said, I love Tidy Klum's letter. She's my girl crush too, Kim. What's on your Christmas list? Well, all I want for Christmas is 